There's a case of lotto fever right across the country. Whether you decide to pick your own numbers or play randomly, the odds of winning are 1 in 14 million. But as Sean O'Shea reports, those chances are the stuff dreams are made of. It's a jackpot that gets people thinking. But it's sort of like a cheap thrill a little bit. So for $2, you've got, you know, something to dream about. With a big payout at stake. I want my shot at the 55 million. <laughs> there are all kinds of dreams. First, I would uh, take all my kids on a nice warm holiday because apparently we're not getting anything here. At this East Toronto convenience store, players ponder the possibilities of winning all that money. What the hell am I going to do if I win? <laughs> Penny Raby says she'd buy a couple of jets, maybe an island. Do you fantasize about it? Sure do, all day, until the morning when I got the winning ticket. The odds of winning the big prize, 1 in 14 million. Long odds to be sure, but then again, eventually, someone always wins. <laughs> Like the Toronto woman who won $40 million this week in an Ontario lottery. I'm not drunk! Excited to be sure. The largest lottery prize was won eight years ago in Alberta when a group of oil workers split $54 million. Daniel May says the new record prize would help him support his five kids. That kind of money gets everybody dreaming. Me, it would be a cottage and a boat. Pay off some student loans for nieces and nephews. Natasha Dufexis knows the feeling of winning, albeit a smaller sports lottery prize a couple of years ago. $29,444.60. Like so many Canadians, she's taking a crack at the big prize. But if you think picking certain numbers will give you a better shot, this professor of statistics says it isn't so. Every sequence of numbers has the same chance of coming up, so no matter what your numbers are, the chance of matching the jackpot is the same one chance in 14 million. But that won't deter the dreamers and former winners. It only takes one line. It only takes one ticket. Sean O'Shea, Global News, Toronto.